what is it, children of the Commonwealth? It's Papa Jelly. I am back. I'm not back with another build, not another CK mod. No, no, no. Today we're looking at Away From It All, aka The Pond by Greek Rage, the man that never sleeps. So, without further ado, let's see what he has given us. So, here we are, we're at the entrance. Just gonna back up a little bit. I love how he does these custom signs. I really love, I gotta figure out how he does those. <laughs> so as you can see, there's twerds and everything. Now, I love that he used Cabin in the Woods because look how perfect this makes it, you know? It's like, it's like one of those old, from the 60s and 70s. A lot of people aren't as old as I am and remember that, that time, but <laughs> that a hippie, a hippie compound, you know? Peace, love, and all that. So we're just start off. We're gonna go around in a circle. It's about the best way to approach this. So here we have like a little sheriff's office, and I love the little details that he puts in. He puts in all these great little details. Of course, wouldn't be a pond called the pond if it didn't have a pond. <laughs> he loves his water features. I love his water features too. I really gotta figure out how he does that. I just recently started getting into the creation kit, so there's still a lot for me to learn. Of course, over here you have for all your Brahmin. And this is another one that, like I said, of his custom assets. See, I just did one where I tweaked the landscape, which came back to bite me in the butt. But what I'm learning by looking at some of the work of, the, of Greek Rage and other modders is you really don't have to tweak the land. You can actually work with the land. And this is an example, a perfect example of working with the land. And of course, we have your little farm over here. Let's get over here. It's a little farm over here. Let me go up in here. Like, look at these custom assets. Like, look at this bar. And the table and chairs. And even the cook area. Look at this. A little residential area. So this is another one of those mods that are just ready to go right out of the box. Download it, hook up your your beacon, and away you go. Now I oh, I couldn't figure out where the stairs were. They're right in front of me. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look where you, look at that! Oh. Like up here, this will give me a little kind of a view, overall view. And of course, another little residence. Look what he's done for the gun cabinet. Of course, lovely little balcony. really keep your settlers safe with this tower. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> so I think I managed to get everything hooked up. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. And then look at this area here. And look at that. This is one thing I really love. Look at this. The fish in the sink getting ready to clean. Cook stove. Like all the custom assets that he puts in and he still puts them out in such a timely manner. Look at these 
custom cabinets. Absolutely amazing. Some more of it. There is a grand total of 19 beds all together in the whole settlement. Well, dog meat's gonna block us from going down the stairs. But this is just absolutely incredible. And that lovely balcony. Oh, look at this balcony. This balcony is amazing. He picked a good area, too. You know, because you got views of the mountains and everything. There's another turret over there. Another small little residence. Now, hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything when I'm doing these tours. Because with Greek Rage's mods, he puts so much detail and so many other things into it that I have a bad tendency of forgetting things. And then look at this. Here's your water. And look at this. What a hell of an ideal that is. And this way you hook it all up. I couldn't get it to hook up to here for some reason because it kept telling me the safety. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. And then again with this custom water asset. Oh, we'll cross over the bridge instead of walking through the water. And look at this lovely bridge. Where did that chicken go? Chicken's crossing the road. Of course, up here, like I love going through his mods because I learn so much from him and I get such positive feedback. Again with these, oh, I love how he does these things. Oh man, that is absolutely amazing. Look at the windows. The shutters on the outside. Nice little attic space, couple beds. Oh, dog me here, such a pain in the butt. And everywhere you go on these balconies, you get such a fantastic view of the whole area. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll run up here. It's kind of almost laid out like sunshine uh, tidings is laid so out. excited when I find duct tape, you know, or wonder glue. If you don't use it, you can always trade it. Everybody needs adhesive. I like how he's put the little foot lockers underneath the beds. Kind of tucked them out of the way. Again, look at this. There's those shutters again. These are fantastic guard towers. Absolutely perfect. You see everything. 360 degrees. Okay, where are we going? We'll go down here. There's always so much to look at that you're always afraid to miss things. Look at this. This is just absolutely amazing. Look at this bar. Custom stools. What the heck? Oh, I have a mod called Nomads, and what Nomads is is it, um, it has people want settlers wandering around that you can recruit to all your different settlements. Brahmin hut. See, there's another one, Nomads. So, like I said, you'll see a lot of these Nomads running around. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is. 
far away, far from it all, aka the pond. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean and thank you so very, very much for watching.